Hello Artscript users, you'll be happy to know that I've been working on Artscript lately to overhaul the collage mode and a few changes on the watermark options also are in the store so let me show you what we have new here um, this is made with Artscript using a single run basically it allows you to put labels on the images select a range and a title. Well, this is also possible, changing all the colors. So as you can see, well, it's easy to make collections for later review. So let's check how this works. Let's supreme this. And this one. So imagine you have 700 photos and you need to check them all or send um, sample to to a client so you might not want to send just little images you just you need to send um, like a catalog so at least for me um, before developing each and each, each image I need to check them a little bigger than, than this so one of the things that you can use is our script range mode to create all these new images so we select all I haven't made um, folder mode, but I think you can select all pretty easily. Now, the first change is that all color options are on the left. There is no color option for watermark here. It's changed. It has changed here, and we have this new position. This position allows you to put the watermark in any place, and because you can change the, its size you can use it as a title generator so we're going to use to do just that we're going to use photos from this date as my, as my title and we're going to put the title on on white we're going to set the background color for my collage a dark gray and a border color on off softer gray and this label color is the color that it's going to have um, the values that I input here so let's talk about these um, options here the layout it's not new I just renamed the tile option because layout it's more um, understandable so if I want a layout of two columns by two rows I can just do that I just need five columns and a range of 15 images for each collage. My label is going to be the name of the file. So what can you put in the label? Well anything you want but you can use the image magic attribute person escapes which are this. I'm using this one the person f for a file name but you can also place the width, the height you, if you have a comment in the metadata you can also output that comment and many more options that you can check later on so we're going to put just a name we're going to make a JPEG remember don't forget to resize or you're going to have a collage of the full size of each image we're going to have a size of 230 by 280 which I think it's a very comfortable size to look in this monitor mm and I believe that's all so let's see what what we can make and while well, it works I'm going to explain to you some of the changes that we have been made as you can see the, we have these swatches here which allows you to select quickly the colors you use the most and you can of course customize those swatches so if you don't want for example if you use a lot of mm, a background and you use a lot of I mean a blue background and let's say like this and you would like to have a border red you you certainly can do it just save the image and once you run our script you're going to have new color swatches here that you can easily select to have a better presentation now I just 
mm, select random colors by now but you can pretty much make um, very useful mm, theme using that option now let's check what we have in store after this so we have our title over here our name the image is styled nicely the image size is pretty big this is actual size and I can easily review and if I send this they can tell me oh, okay I need you to work on this DZNS 0043.gpa GP. sorry <laughs> English not my first language and I can easily spot the image without having lots and lots of files sent over the internet or uploaded in my Dropbox so this is this is it I hope you enjoy it and that you keep using ArtScript for all your future projects thank you and thanks for watching